Mr. Beagley. Hey there guys and gals, it's Grabigli with another vlog. In fact, it's the last vlog of 2018, the last time I'll be doing one of these, but I'm gonna be wrapping up the year, figuring out exactly what happened during this year, reflecting on it, letting you guys know what my thoughts are on it, as well as what I wanna do in 2019 moving forward, what I've learned from this year that I wanna take into the new year and do better with. But before I do that, I wanted to let you guys know about the new P.O. Box that I just opened. I opened it like a weekend and a half ago. People over on Twitch and Twitter already know about this because I already talked to them about it and it's my pinned tweet on Twitter. So if you guys want the address of it, I'll leave the address down below in the description of this video. And then it's also on the about page of the YouTube channel and it's also on my uh, my pinned tweet over on Twitter. So you guys can always find it there. Uh, people have already sent me stuff, so I'm actually gonna go into that really quick. I opened the PO box because people on Twitch were urging me to, uh, especially with the way that convention Conventions have become recently. A lot of the conventions like PAX and PopCon and stuff have been sort of uh, discouraging people from bringing gifts to creators that they want to meet. So instead of being able to like give me gifts at a convention, um, those of you who, who have already gotten gifts from me or wanted to send me a letter or anything like that, you can send it to the PO box and that way it sort of circumvents that whole like not being able to hand me stuff at a convention. So anyway, I got some letters. I checked it. I was I got a lot more than I thought I was going to get. I was actually really surprised. But yeah, I'm going to dig into these here. So I got a letter from Mads. Uh, I think I know what this is already, actually, because I was told I was going to get a Christmas card. So uh, yeah, it's a, it's a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year card. It's a nice family card. Thank you for this. And this is the type of stuff that like I really do appreciate. It's really nice to get this kind of thing because it's the holiday time and it's you guys, you guys are my community. You make up my community of the thousands and thousands of you out there who have subscribed to the channel. Like it's so cool to get like personalized stuff from people. I just think it's amazing. So thank you. This next one is from Chris A. Thank you so much for that. By the way, guys, if you send me anything weird, uh, Morgan has a rule already where if we get any suspicious packages without like a return address or anything, we're gonna be opening them outside. So you're probably not gonna see them in like the live streams where I open mail or the videos where I open mail. Uh, I wanna do this as like a regular thing. I'll probably go check the PO box like once every week or every two weeks or something and do like little mail opening videos or mail opening live streams, depending on how much I get. Uh, but if I get like weird stuff, just don't be weird. Don't send me like body parts or like cookies with your hair in them. Don't do weird stuff. Don't ruin it for everyone. Anyway, I'm gonna open Chris's letter, which looks very not suspicious. Oh, this is actually like a really nice holiday card from Slade, and it has this awesome picture of girl Beagley on the inside. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. My camera's horrible. That's something, that's one of my like 2019 resolutions. Uh, is I want to get a better face cam because the camera that I use for like vlogging and for the face cam on gaming videos is awful. It's horrendous. I've had it for like five years, but it's just like really outdated. But uh, yeah, this is so awesome. Thank you so much, Slade. Thank you for everything you've done art wise and everything. Uh, it's just been so great. Thank you. You've made 2018 really, really special. It's been awesome working with you. But yeah, another nice holiday card. Thank you. Okay, this next one is from Miles and we have what looks like another little Christmas card. I'm sorry I'm so late opening these guys, but like I said, I just checked the P.O. Box for the first time. It's got a little kitty on it. It's so cute. Oh, look at that kitty. I love cats so much. A oh, Christmas cat. Aw, you immediately thought of me when you saw this card. This is so wonderful. Thank you, Merked Miles, at that. Thank you, I know exactly who you are. Thank you so, so much for the uh, holiday wishes. That's so nice of you. I have another letter here. This one is from Elizabeth and it looks like it has a card and like a little note in it or something. Oh my God, this is the cutest little card. Look at that card. It's got a happy cartoon deer on it. Happy cartoon penguin. It's adorable. Have a cozy Christmas and rest of winter. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you so much. I have, there's so many people who have like messages that are like, I'm sorry if this doesn't make it to you by Christmas. A lot of these probably did and I just didn't check the PO box. I'm so sorry. Oh, but thank you so much for this very, very kind message, Elizabeth. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your 2018 and a good start to your 2019 also. What is this though too? I got this little paper and it, <laughs> Oh, this is so cute. I love this. It's like a collage of like cats and 
There's a beagle puppy with my eyes on it. That's That part's a little bit, that one's a little bit strange, but everything else is great on this. This is really wonderful. Thank you so much for including this. I love these types of letters, guys. Like I said, they're like just so nice. They're little personalized things, and it means the world to me that you guys care enough about a dope like me on the internet. Thank you so much, seriously. The final letter I got is from Angela. Uh, thank you so much, Angela Don. Thank you so, so much for all of your support. I recognize you from Twitter, of course. Uh, it's Christmas brain teaser card. Aw, oh, cute. Count the elephants hidden inside this card. Aw, oh, man. I don't, I don't even know how many there could be. I'm so confused. <laughs> That's so sweet. Thank you very, very much. Thank you for all of your support. <laughs> this is really cute. I love little cute things like this. I really do, guys. Thank you. That's it for the Christmas card slash letters that I got, but I also got this package in the mail, so I'm gonna open this and hopefully it doesn't explode and kill me. I feel like death would be a very bad way to start off 2019 and end 2018 with. You know, death being like a final end to 2018. That would be awful. I would hate that. This is from Kylie, by the way. Thank you so much, Kylie. Uh, uh, I'll try not to cut myself also while I'm opening this. Good God. Oh, no way. This is so cool. I got a little note. Oh, thank you so much for the late Christmas present. That's super nice of you. I got a, looks like a shirt. I got a Harry Potter shirt, which is so great because I love Harry Potter so very much. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. This is awesome. It's got all the Hogwarts houses on it. This is dope. Thank you so, so much. This is super nice of you. Oh, I can't wait to wear this. Thank you. So that is the P.O. Box, guys. And that is where you can send anything that you want to me. Letters, cards, gifts, etc. You don't have to. Never feel like you have to send me anything. But the fact that people are already is like so heartwarming. It really means a lot. I had no idea how the P.O. Box was going to work out. Because I'm not someone who typically like asks you guys to give me things. So I wasn't sure if anyone would. And the fact that you guys sent me so much already just means the world. Thank you so very much much for everything that you've done like I said I'm gonna work it into the channel where I do like regular unboxing videos or unboxing live streams I'll figure it out maybe I'll do sort of mix and match and like alternate between the two types of things but I'll leave the address once again down below in the description of this video and then otherwise you can always find it over on my about section of my YouTube page and you can also find it on my uh, pin tweet over on Twitter but yeah so that is one of the big developments of 2018. That was really cool. Along with that, obviously, I got to do so many other things. I got to go to a ton of different cities and conventions and events this year. I got to meet literally thousands of you guys, which was like unbelievable. I met hundreds of you at every event and I went to so many events. This was like the craziest, most busy year I've ever had. Uh, and on top of it, it was extra complicated because it was the first year I've ever done YouTube and Twitch as a full time job. I've always always had like a side job or I guess my main like full-time job and then done YouTube as a hobby and this time around I was like doing live streaming full-time I was doing YouTube videos full-time etc so if things seemed a little bit wonky here and there a big part of it is because I'm still figuring this out I'm brand new to this yes I've been doing YouTube for five and a half years but on top of that like I don't really know what it's like to do this as a full-time gig. It's wild. It seems so easy when you're doing it, when you have supplemental income from something else, but then you move into doing it as like your full-time thing and everything really does change in a big way. And it's mainly for the better. It's, it's like been so great being able to work for myself, but it also hasn't been a complete cakewalk. So for those of you who have like noticed me stumbling here and there, I really do appreciate your patience as I just work out the kinks and figure things out. But like, this has been such a crazy year. I got to do like solo panels. I just remembered yesterday because the whole year I've been like, oh yeah, I got to do like my one and only solo panel at Indie PopCon this year. And that was so great because that was my first solo panel ever. And I got moved to like a bigger room, which was just unbelievable. It was so cool that like enough of you guys came out that we moved from the smaller panel room to like the medium panel room. That was so awesome. Like I was so blown away by that. Uh, but then I also did another 
another one uh, just like a couple months ago at RockCon, which is a local convention here in Rochester. I totally forgot that I had done that uh, one, but it was that was a good one. That was more like a Q&A type thing where it was like the entire time I just answered questions from people. But that was like such a good experience as well. I had my own panel room there and like more people came out to that than I ever expected to. So this year's been just really special. It's been amazing. Like I said, I've gotten to meet so many of you. I've gotten to make so many new friends. I've gotten to experience things I've never experienced before. And it's all because this community has had my back and it really does mean the world. And I feel bad because there was a lot of like down moments during this year as well. And I thought that I was like roughing them out and pushing through, but like people like pointed out like, dude, you seem like really tired or you don't seem like you're putting your all into things. Uh, and it wasn't that I wasn't putting my all into anything. It's just that my all was so underwhelming because I was so tired out. I was so exhausted. Uh, I know that a bunch of my friends have talked about this in their own videos throughout the year or in tweets or things like that. But like 2018 was a very mentally and emotionally drained raining year for like a number of reasons. Uh, my cousin passed away earlier in the year and that like really hit me hard because I grew up with her and was very close to her growing up. Uh, I had a bunch of other personal things that I was attending to. So my like mental and emotional resources weren't always 100% like trained on the channel and they weren't trained on like the Twitch channel or anything like that. And as a result, like not my best work sometimes came out and I felt really bad about that. I I've recently, especially over the past like couple months, actually been feeling a little bit better because I'm finally getting used to the idea of taking a break. And that's like a big 2019 resolution for me is going into 2019, I wanna remind both myself and my friends as well, as much as I can that like, taking breaks is okay. If you are like, I'm running on empty, there's nothing left to give, but I feel too guilty if I don't try to at least give something, that's an unhealthy mindset. That's the mindset that I constantly fall victim to because that, that's the whole thing is people think that I'm being apathetic or not giving my all, it's, but that's not the case at all. I'm, I am giving my all, it's just there's not enough left over for me to be able to give like enough. And uh, that makes me feel bad, but it shouldn't make me feel bad to like take a step back and be like instead of going out and giving like crappy work to people or giving like crappy content to people I should take a step back relax like strengthen myself and then launch back into things when I'm ready like I recently took about a week off from streaming over on Twitch. And I didn't even realize a week had gone by, but it honestly recharged me so much. I had sort of like hit this point where I was getting sort of like repetitive in my streams and I was not even realizing that I kind of was on autopilot during them because I was so guilty about the thought of not streaming that I rather would just like do a stream and then it be subpar, which is also stupid, which was just so stupid. It was just a dumb idea. So I'm hoping that this year I can sort of prioritize my own mental health and my own emotional health a lot more, uh, much like a lot of my friends have as goals. And I, like, I'm not gonna name names or anything, but like I plan on reaching out to my friends as well and us all helping each other get past that stigma of like always having to be working all the freaking time. Uh, that doesn't mean that there's gonna be less content. That doesn't mean that I'm trying to be like lazy and not do more. Uh, if anything, I hope in 2019, I can do way more for you guys. You guys were amazing because I put out a tweet uh, asking for ideas of what you wanna see on the channel in 2019. And so many of you were like telling me like sketch comedy or music or like, I don't know, breakdown videos of different things, all these great game suggestions came through you guys are awesome so I have like a ton of great ideas for things I'm probably gonna bring back Q&A videos things that involve the community more because for a long time I was just so busy this year constantly traveling or getting ready to travel that I think that I like stretched myself too thin and didn't concentrate enough on like interacting with you guys like yes I interact with you on social media yes I interact with you over during like live streams and stuff but here specifically on the YouTube channel I sort of lost that a little bit and it wasn't like I was putting you guys on the back burner or it wasn't like I wasn't thinking about you it was more of like I was just so tired out all the time I'd forget to do do things. I'd forget to reply to a comment that I saw in a video that I thought was like a really great comment. Things like 
that. So I don't want to do that in 2019. I want to make sure that I'm involving you guys more and doing more fun things because you guys are worth it. I mean, heck, you proved that right here with the P.O. Box stuff. You sent me all this great stuff. So I want to do like mail unboxings and I want to do Q&As and just uh, community driven type things over here. So yeah, look forward to that in 2019. Another thing that I really want to do in 2019 is focus more on voice acting. I have been doing it for a long time here on YouTube, but mainly just casually and for fun where it, you know, is deemed appropriate in a game to do some sort of voice acting. Like I like doing that stuff. It's really great. And for a while I was getting opportunities sent my way, but I sort of like took them for granted. I turned them down because I was too busy at the time. And then as a result, I think I shot myself in the foot with some of those because uh, I, I've just been waiting for them to fall into my lap versus proactively going out and trying to find ones that I really want. So I want to focus on that more, learn the ins and outs of the industry and just really get involved with that a little bit more because it is something I'm passionate about. It's something that since I was a kid that I've always loved doing and wanted to get more involved in. So that's a big goal of mine. And I just, I don't know, I have all these things that I'm, I want to do in 2019 and I'm like actually making like lists and schedules and figuring things out this time around. Uh, coming into 2018, everything was so uncertain because I had just started getting into the groove of being a full-time content creator. But now that I have sort of like my legs about me a little bit more, like I have my balance a little bit more as far as like how this is all supposed to work out, I think I can start prioritizing things that I really wanna do a lot more. And hopefully that shows in the content I make, the commentary that I do over video games, the things that I do on live stream, et cetera. Hopefully that like balance just it permeates from me like I, I hope that is something that ends up being very apparent in the things that I do because I want to get back to that point where I just feel energetic and not tired all the time and I already feel like 2019 even though like a new year is an arbitra uh, arbitrary like time stamp like I do feel like it's going to be like a fresh start for me so I hope that you guys see that and I hope that you have great goals of your own for 2019 I hope that you realize that anything bad that happened in 2018 that can stay in 2018. Things are temporary. They're going to move forward. You're going to find some great new opportunities. And I really do hope that 2019 specifically is the year where things start turning around for a lot of you and you're able to enjoy both my channel and content a lot more and just your own lives a lot more. But thank you so much, seriously, guys, for everything that you've done for me. Thank you for making this my life. Thank you for not giving up on me when I do stumble. Thank you just for sticking by me and making sure that I'm on the right course and that I feel confident in what I'm doing. Like, it's just so cool knowing that I have this community at my back. You guys are some of the most generous, genuine people I've ever met in my life, and I can't wait to meet more of you in 2019 going forward. Anyway, guys, this vlog was very, very long. I'm sorry about that. Thank you so much for a wonderful 2018. If you enjoyed my channel at all during this year, please be sure to hit the like button, share the video and favorite it. Also, be sure to subscribe to me if you guys haven't already. For those of you who have, thank you so much for all of your support. You guys are the best in the world. I love every single one of you, and as always, it was great seeing ya. Bye-bye.